Bitcoin once again testing $12,000, but I can't help but ask myself, many of you may be asking the same question, is $12,000 the new $10,000? And do Bitcoin bulls have what it takes to break through? What's up, everyone? Thanks for coming by Crypto Capital Venture. Hit that subscribe on the way in. Let's jump into the video. There it is, six hour charts. If you haven't seen my previous couple videos or so, we've been tracking this head and shoulders with a very small right shoulder right there. There's a clear neckline right here. We started tracking this right around, I would say here on, I think it was the 28th, I'm not exactly sure, but we saw Bitcoin bounce off of this neckline and start testing this right shoulder swing high. And you can kind of see Bitcoin struggled there just for a day or so at that area. But we started talking about a bullish confirmation if Bitcoin can break that right shoulder swing high. Again, very small right shoulder, mind you. But we talked about a failed head and shoulders, right? We know we have the head and shoulders as kind of this bearish reversal. If Bitcoin breaks through the neckline, we're heading down, right? But a failed head and shoulders, very opposite. Could be a bullish confirmation. We see Bitcoin put in these busted patterns, these failed patterns before. Uh, and it happens, right? And our target from here is a right shoulder height uh, of basically up to 13,000, right in the 12,800 to $13,000 area. So we got the confirmation just the other day, Bitcoin broke above that right shoulder and we've been tracking it since, right? We talk about potential support now at that entire area of previous resistance. We wanna see support, you can see um, uh, just a few six hour candles ago, Bitcoin wicked down into that area around 11,500. So what is next for Bitcoin, especially now as we're 25, $20 away from testing, once again, $12,000. And I wanna start here, just for clear context for you. I know I talk about it all the time, but I'm telling you the macro zoomed out charts, you always have to have it in the back of your mind if you wanna have a clear perspective on what might happen next for Bitcoin, because this is where it's at, everybody. Our swing high uh, bull market to our 2018 bear market low. We know we have the bull market doors here, 16,000 to 13,000. That's a Fibonacci retracement from the swing high to swing low. I'm not gonna chart it. It's a 786 area on the Fibonacci retracement to a 618 on the Fibonacci retracement here. We are approaching that area last summer you know we tested this area. I know I talk about this all the time. I don't mean to repeat myself, but I wanna give clear perspective, especially if you haven't seen videos that I've done before. Now going to the daily chart, as Bitcoin's getting ready to potentially make a strong move to test those bull market doors, 13,000 to $16,000, what are we looking at? So I wanna get this out of the way, the bearish scenario for Bitcoin. I have a Fibonacci retracement. It's a swing low that we had in this right shoulder of the inverse head and shoulders back in June to our previous swing high where we tested 12,000, a little bit above 12,000. We have a pullback area, everybody, and I wanna throw it out there. This is, no matter what Bitcoin is doing, I'm always analyzing and trying to decide where can Bitcoin revisit? right? Those scenarios where we, we don't expect it, we don't want to see it happen, but we wake up and Bitcoin's down 20%. This is down here, 10,200 to right around 9,500. Just be prepared for it. I'm not sitting here saying it's going to happen, but I'm telling you it's happened before in these environments where everybody's bullish, Bitcoin just does the opposite. This is a really good area. And the reason I have these areas is so that I can accumulate. It's a solid area to accumulate Bitcoin. Now that inverse head and shoulders, just to point out, is right here, very bullish. We've broken the neckline right here, 10,500. It's an extremely bullish 20,000 plus Bitcoin target. This is a mid to long term type of pattern, so that's gonna take some time to play out, but Bitcoin potentially on its way. So that's what's going on on the daily chart. I really wanted to point that out to you. And then just the other thing I do wanna point out on the daily chart is this. If I just take a, a horizontal line and I just chart right around $12,000, Bitcoin's really $10 away from testing that area right now. You can see this is a very critical area for Bitcoin because last summer Bitcoin struggled at 12,000. Obviously we got above it a couple times, very short lived. And then we struggled for that third time last August, a little over a year ago, I would say, yeah, just over a year ago. 
and Bitcoin fell back down. We're testing this exact area once again. The question is, can Bitcoin break this entire swing high and put in a higher high somewhere in the near term future? That's really on the macro charts what I'm watching. Um, and it really starts with the current resistance at 12,000 because the resistance is very clear and it's very similar looking to the $10,000 resistance we've struggled with for years now, if, if you want to put it that way. So let's dig into this on the six hour charts and really get an idea of what Bitcoin is doing right now. So three things I want to talk about. The $12,000 area, which I just covered, is confluent with these things, right? This this resistance. There's a lot of confluent resistance right now. So let's let's dig in and talk about what else is going on. The other resistance area we have is a lower trend line. We have we have two patterns actually, two patterns. The head and shoulders that I just described to you that might be a failed head and shoulders could be bullish. And we have this rising channel, a lower trend line, upper trend line, a rising channel that's been in play for since July now. And Bitcoin broke the the lower trend line of that. And with this $12,000 resistance, we have this lower trend line resistance. Though you see on the six hour chart, Bitcoin is above it, it still is short term resistance. We're in a very small window where Bitcoin can see short term resistance. And literally, as I do this video, and Bitcoin's $1 away from breaking 12,000, this is in the hours ahead today what I'm watching. This is the area right here. What will happen with Bitcoin? Will it break through? and get solid separation from this small little area. And just for reference, we're looking at an area of that lower trend line to 12,000, like 1%. Will Bitcoin break through confidently or are we gonna see some just weak six hour candle eventually close and Bitcoin comes back down? That is what we need to look for. Now, with that resistance in play, uh, to the downside, what we could look for is basically uh, a swing low right here that neckline of this head and shoulders to whatever our swing high will be right now currently currently it is literally right around twelve thousand uh, dollars the fibonacci retracement coming down to our 618 right around eleven thousand five hundred right let me just draw this down to the 786 eleven thousand three hundred now that would be bitcoin coming back down and testing once again this right shoulder that we confirmed that we broke through that is 100 percent in play and possible it's something i'm looking for today right to see if that happens so two things we're watching right now how does bitcoin interact with twelve thousand dollars and if there is resistance how does it react to a support level at this Fibonacci retracement. This is the very short term zoomed in charts. Now, to the upside, we know we have targets, right? We have very bullish targets. This failed head and shoulders target I, I mentioned earlier in the video, it's going up to right around $12,800 to $13,000. That is the bullish target breakout for, um, for that pattern. And then we have our rising channel, which you see on the screen, the upper trend line, the lower trend line, if Bitcoin can make its way up, this isn't immediate. If Bitcoin can make its way up, hit the $13,000 target from the head and shoulders, break through this upper trend line of this rising channel, we have a breakout target of around $14,000 or so to the upside. And you know what that means. We will be within this green rectangle you see at the top of the screen. And if we go back to our daily chart, we know what that is right here. That is the bull market doors and Bitcoin will be interacting with the bull market doors, pressing on it, knocking on it, trying to slam it down. What will happen if Bitcoin makes it there? Time will tell. I continue to track this. We continue to track this every day with this technical analysis. Everybody just be prepared either way. We have our targets to the downside, to the upside, the macro, the micro. Look at your portfolio, make your own decisions. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Don't listen to YouTubers anyway because we're just YouTubers, right? Everybody's in our own unique situation. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you. This is what I'm looking at. Really, on the short term, will Bitcoin see this short term resistance in this little small 1% range, $12,000 down to this upper trend or lower trend line, like 11,850. Time will tell, we'll track it. If Bitcoin makes a strong move and we break through, right? Um, I'll probably do another video a little later, or even you know, the inverse of that happening, Bitcoin breaks down 
and we see rejection. I'll do a video, but right now Bitcoin's above $12,000. As I do this video, it happened. Let's see what happens next. If you're here not a subscriber, hit the subscribe, the like button on the way out. It means a lot. I appreciate you. Have an awesome Tuesday. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.